Welcome to the PHP 5 course. This lesson is Hello World. And my name, name is Dion. So first we're gonna check which software we need, then how PHP makes HTML or how PHP generates HTML. Then the extensions of uh, web files could be .php or .html, what's the difference? Then we're gonna create a first PHP script then where do I have to put that PHP script to be viewable in a browser? Then we're gonna uh, see the results. So first the mandatory software, what do I need for it? First, I need a browser, obvious. Then I need a text editor, Notepad or Notepad++ or Eclipse. Um, we'll see which we will use in this lesson. Then we need a PHP enab enabled server. I need to have a server what does what's capable of running a PHP. If you don't have one, uh, can go to xam.org. I will use xam.org in this course. And if you uh, don't know how to do it, uh, to install it, um, go to this website, free tools, and here xam. Just watch this video, and it will explain what xam is and what it does. So then we are gonna check how PHP makes HTML. Uh, in the previous lesson, we saw that PHP scripts is uh, on a server. The browser sends a request to a PHP file to the PHP server, and then the PHP uh, file sends back HTML to the browser. Uh, got an animation of this. This is just normal, I'm a, on a browser, I'll go to the internet, I'm going to browse something, and then I get an HTML file back, nothing new. And practice what happens, this is my browser, I go to a web server, Apache for server for instance, or Microsoft IIS, there is an HTML file and it will send back the HTML file. Now PHP, there's a difference, I go to, to with my brother to a PHP server, and on that server there resides HTML files, and PHP files, and it could be mixed. There's a PHP engine running, it will uh, interpret the PHP code, and based on that code, it will send back dynamic HTML. So it depends on the PHP, course, uh, PHP code, which HTML it will send back. So PHP generates dynamically uh, HTML. The browser here, of course, is not aware of any PHP. It doesn't know that PHP exists. Then the sort of files. What do we have? We have the PHP or HTML files. Uh, PHP can be mixed in a normal, can be mixed with HTML. So you can use both codes in a file, a single file. We know already HTML is just an HTML file. Uh, now we have a .php and .php is a PHP file, but still it can be mixed with HTML or it can also be just plain HTML without a PHP. But if the extension is PHP, then the PHP engine on the server will check, hey, is there any PHP course? And with HTML, there's no need for it because the server knows it's only HTML. If you have a file and you don't know for sure if it's gonna contain PHP at the end, uh, it needs PHP course, just make it PHP. It will interpret it anyway. So if you're not sure, just make it PHP. Otherwise, if you change it afterwards. Now our first PHP script. So inside our HTML code, we can write our PHP code and we need those tags for it. So this is the beginning tag and this is the ending tag and between that comes all our PHP course, uh, course. code, code. Good morning, Dion. Uh, sometimes you may see the short version, greater than sign, uh, question mark. No, don't use them, uh, greater than, smaller than sign. Don't use those. Just stick to this one and it's not that shorter anyway. Uh, then we're gonna see the first uh, function, it's called uh, echo. So if I wanna echo text, print text, I just use the echo. If 
function. There is a little difference between a single quote and a double quote in the echo because here comes a string I want to print. Uh, I noticed in this course we're going to make use of the single quotes. The double quotes could be a little bit more flex flexible, but in the end you will create your own preference what you want to use. But you will see them both. It's very important to end each line with a semicolon. So if you finished your sentence, just uh, end it with a semicolon. And that's what most beginners uh, may forget. So our first piece of code. So I have here, um, what I'm gonna make use is of a template, I already created a template in the HTML course, I have a template. And this is just plain, uh, plain HTML course, uh, plain, plain, I keep mixing up course and code. This is HTML code. So now we're gonna make a, our first application is called Hello World. I'm gonna first save it as hello world.php. This is gonna be the one. And I don't wanna save this .txt, otherwise it will be txt. I will say all files, so this is now defined as a PHP code. Replace it, yes. And there we go. So I'm gonna fo focus on this one. So in here, I wanna start my PHP course code. Good morning again. So this is the starting tag, PHP, and this is the ending tag. And in between, I can write my code. There we go. What I wanna do, I wanna send the text hello world to the browser. So this was the function echo, single quote, and then I say hello world. Close it down. This is it, only don't forget the semicolon and this is the code. So it will print hello world. And then I'm going to file and save it. This is the first code I created. Now, if I want to open that uh, file, I have to open it in on the PHP server. So where do I put that file? Uh, first, make sure that XAMPP is installed. So install XAMPP because you need a PHP server. Then make sure Apache and PHP are running. Apache is the HTML, uh, the web uh, server, and PHP will interpret PHP code. So I have to save this one in XAMPP HD docs in Windows. So if I want to check it, I'll have to save it. Save as the C file. There I see XAMPP. And inside HD docs, you will have this folder as well. Here comes all my web folders. And here is hello world, hello world PHP. And just I can save it. So there I have to save it. Uh, if you want to open it, so open your browser and then go to localhost. That means this is your own PC because you're running XAMPP on your PC and then access their dead PHP file. So there we're going to do it. Um, let's do it here. So localhost slash and then hello world.php. This is the code. And we see it works. If you make use of directories inside the htdocs, you can do that as well. Um, so create here your directory and in your browser open localhost slash that directory name and after that one uh, use your PHP code. So we are going to view the result. So view the source codes in your browser. We saw that result here, but now we're gonna check the source code. We will note that the original PHP code is gone uh, and that new HTML code has been generated. So here was a file, right click and I can say view page source. And I noticed, uh, let's see the original code. It says here, echo hello world. 
and go into the browser, I see the PHP code is gone and it generated HTML code just uh, displaying hello world. And this means my browser is totally not PHP code aware. So PHP uh, generates HTML. This is the end of the video. This was Dean Dresch's for Education Org. I want to thank you for staying smart.